Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how to make this double plant hanger using two old CDs. You will need double knitting yarn, whatever colour you want, a 3mm crochet hook, something to cut your yarn with, a tapestry needle and two CDs and some stitch markers. We are going to start with a slip knot and we're going to crochet around the CD to give us the base of the plant hanger. We're going to start with the bottom one. So place your slip knot on your hook and have the picture of the CD facing you and come from behind, pull the yarn through the hole, wrap round your hook and make a slip stitch. Then pull your yarn back from behind then chain one. Now we're going to make 60 single crochets coming from behind, pulling the yarn through the hole, wrap round your hook, hold it with your finger and pull the tail from behind, wrap round your hook and pull through both loops on your hook and that's your first single crochet. It might be a little fiddly at first, but then you'll get the hang of it and you'll fly through it. For easier counting, I'm going to place a stitch marker every 10 stitches. So you do 10 stitches and then place a stitch marker on that 10th stitch. Then continue to your next 10 stitches, place your stitch marker and continue that all the way around the CD for 60 single crochets. I will do mine off camera and I will come back when I'm done. Your yarn will overlap a little bit towards the last few stitches um, but that's okay, you won't really notice it. You don't need a stitch marker at the six, on the 60th stitch because you will see where the um, row finishes. Now slip stitch to the first stitch of the round. And chain one. Then turn your work. And for this round we'll be working in the back loops only. So place a half double crochet in every stitch around in the back loops only. You will want to recount because the stitch markers will be misplaced because we turned the work. So count your 10 stitches and replace your stitch marker in the 10th stitch. You will have 60 half double crochets for this round at the end. So do this round and I will meet you when you're done. making my last half double crochet and then slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. If you're not sure where it is, count back from your first marker. And for round two, chain one, then place half double crochet in each stitch around. I am keeping my stitch markers in throughout the whole project. It's easier to count and you don't need to recount the whole round. So it's half double crochet in each stitch around for a total of 60 stitches still. Work in my last stitch, then slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. Round three is a puff stitch round. So you yarn over, go into the stitch and pull up a loop, 
and do that four times all together. Two, three, and four. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Chain one to close, chain one, skip a stitch and do the next one in the next stitch. So you yarn over and pull up a loop four times. That's one, two, three, and four. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. And then chain one to close and chain one. Skip a stitch and do the next one. You should have 30 puff stitches in this round. The stitch marker should be moved into the big gaps in between the puff stitches. So you finish this and I will meet you at the end. Doing my last puff stitch of the round. Then slip stitch to the top of the first puff stitch. Then we'll be working on rounds four and five. Chain one. Then place half double crochet into the same stitch. Then half double crochet in the big gap between the puff stitches. So you'll be doing half double crochet in each space and stitch around for a total of 60 half double crochets around. Just remember to move your stitch markers into your 10th stitch. And round five is the same, just half double crochet all the way around for 60 half double crochets. I will meet you at the end of round five. Making my last half double crochet of the round, then slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. And round six is a repeat of round three, a puff stitch round. So your first puff stitch goes into the same stitch as the slip stitch. You pull up four times. Then yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, chain one to close it, then chain one, skip a stitch and place the next one in the next stitch. You do this all the way around for a total of 30 puff stitches. So you finish this round and I will meet you at the end. Finishing my last puff stitch. Then slip stitch into the top of the first puff stitch of the round. Then chain one and rounds seven and eight are half double crochet round. It's a repeat of rounds four and five. So your first half double crochet goes on top of that puff stitch where the slip stitch is and your next half double crochet goes in the gap between the puff stitches. So you repeat that around half double crochet in each stitch and space around for a total of 60 half double crochets. Do this for two rounds, rounds seven and eight, and I will meet you at the end. Doing my last half double crochet, then slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. Then we will make another puff stitch round. So your first puff stitch goes into the same stitch as the slip stitch. So you yarn over, go into the stitch and pull up a loop four times. Then you yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, chain one to close the puff stitch, then chain one, skip a stitch and place another one in the next stitch. You repeat that around for a total of 30 puff stitches and I will meet you at the end of this round. Finishing my last puff stitch.
then slip stitch into the top of the first puff stitch of the round. Rounds 10 and 11 will be round of single crochet in each stitch round. So you chain one and place a single crochet into that same stitch and then single crochet into the gap in between the puff stitches. So rounds again, 11, 10 and 11 will be rounds of single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 60 single crochets. Finish those two rounds and I will meet you at the end of round 11. Finishing round 11, then slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. Then we'll be making another round with the straps that will attach to the top part of the plant hanger. We'll start this round with a chain one, then single crochet into the same stitch, single crochet into the next stitch half double crochet in the next stitch then double crochet into the next stitch then treble crochet in the next stitch Then chain 21, then we'll be working back down the chain. So place your first single crochet in the second chain from your hook then place a single crochet in each chain all the way back down to the top of your um, treble crochet you should have 20 single crochets working my last single crochet on the chain then place a treble crochet into the next stitch then a double crochet in the next stitch then a half double crochet in the next stitch then one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. And this is your first strap. You will have three all together. And this, every strap takes up a space of 10 stitches. So in between each strap you will have a gap of 10 single crochets so place a single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches and then we'll repeat the strap again in the second in the next 10 stitch gap so place a single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches and in this round you can remove your stitch markers you don't need them anymore once you've worked over them Then last single crochet for this gap, remove your marker, you don't need it anymore, then we'll make another strap. So single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, then half double crochet in the next stitch, 
then double crochet in the next stitch, then treble crochet in the next stitch, then chain 21, then single crochet all the way back down to the top of the treble crochet. So your first single crochet goes into the second chain from the hook and work 20 single crochets all the way back down the chain. Finishing my last single crochet on the chain, then treble crochet into the next stitch next to the other treble crochet. Then double crochet in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet in each of the last two stitches. And that's your second strap done. Now you have two. So each strap goes over 10 stitches, so your next gap will have 10 single crochets in and then the next one will be another strap over 10 stitches and the last bit is 10 single crochets over those 10 stitches that's left. Finish this round and I will meet you at the end. Just finishing this round with my last single crochet, then slip stitch into the top of the first stitch of the round. Then pull your yarn through and you can cut yourself a little tail for sewing. And now make the second one. But the second one will have, instead of 21 um, chain on the straps, it will have 35 chain and then you single crochet 34 back down the chain. That's the only difference, the rest is exactly the same. So do your second one and I will meet you back when you've done it. I have my two little baskets. Now we need to attach them together. This is the one with the 35 chain, which is a little longer, we'll go at the top. And this is the one with the 21 chain. Now we'll sew the tails in. Now take the basket where it's got the shorter straps on and unwind it and I'm not measuring anything, I'm just using my eye, I'm just eyeballing it really and I'm going to um, use a stitch marker to attach it right underneath the other strap on the top basket and do that on all three straps just to keep it in place so it's easier to just sew them all. And we're going to sew them using um, the two stitches, one the chain that we skipped and then the first single crochet on the chain. Now to sew it. So take a fresh piece of yarn 
and go through the back of the single crochet where you've attached the um, uh, stitch marker sorry and through that stitch where you've put your marker in through both loops and leave yourself a little tail for tying afterwards and then I do that I go through both of those stitches two or three times and then I go into the chain on the side the next stitch next to it and then into the next stitch on the basket as well through both loops and I go through those two stitches twice or three times again and then I thread my needle to the back and then I'll do three simple knots just to keep it attached together so it's not gonna come apart then cut your tails as close as you can and repeat that on the other two straps now we're going to crochet a connector for the uh, three straps at the top we'll start with a magic ring then chain one and then place six half double crochets into that magic ring Then pull your tail to close the ring, then slip stitch into the first half double crochet. Then chain one and go back into that stitch. Then take one of your straps and unwind it so it's not twisted and go through the single crochet on the top of the strap and connect that with the slip stitch. Then go into the next stitch and attach the chain stitch on the strap with the slip stitch. Then go into your next stitch and get your next strap and unwind it so it's not twisted. Go into your single crochet and make a slip stitch and into the next stitch into this into the chain stitch sorry on the strap and make a slip stitch and then attach your last strap the same way go into your next stitch attach the first one into the single crochet on top of the strap with a slip stitch then into your chain stitch on the strap and attach that one with a slip stitch And now that they're all attached, we can make the hanging loop. We're going to chain eight. Then pull your yarn through and cut yourself a little tail. Then we're going to pull that tail through the opposite side of the ring. Then we're going to pull that tail through the closest chain. And 
pull it tight to secure it. Then we're going to tie that with the tail from the magic ring and we're going to cut the yarn. And you are done. I like to use um, bottoms of um, large drinking bottles and then I don't need to buy uh, plant pots. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.